Damien. Eddie, uh, obviously, uh, a real disaster for, for Nick Pope. Uh, how, how is he and what are your options? Yeah, he's very disappointed, understandably, as we are for him. He's been magnificent this season for us. He doesn't deserve to, to miss the game, but it is what it is. We'll, we'll see um, what our options are. Um, but we have Lorius and, and Mark who have trained really, really well this season. They've been a part of the goalkeeping team all, all season. Um, they're both fit and ready to play. Do you have any option on a recall for Cal Galloway? You wanted to? I, I don't believe so. Okay. Okay. Miles? Um, yeah, but I think behind the scenes, the, these lads train every day. They play games behind closed doors. Um, I've got no doubt they're both in great physical condition to play the game. Um, no injury concerns. They've, as I say, they've been part of our goalkeeping unit. We're very um, hands-on and active with them during the sessions. We will mix and rotate who we who we use in certain moments. So they've all been part of our, our training all season. Carries, comes with a lot of experience, uh, even though he's Yeah, absolutely. And that was the reason for taking his profile, really. He has the experience of the big games. But I've got no doubt or issue over his ability to do that. Um, and he's continued to improve and impress in training. Jordan, how pleased were you with the players and the way they reacted? Yeah, I'd agree with that. I thought we were very good with 10 men. Um, I thought we were very good with 11 men at the start of the game uh, and created the first chance, big chance. The crowd were electric. You know, it, it seemed set for a really good afternoon. Um, the two goals we disappointed with, uh, they came out of nothing really, no real pressure, just quality moments from them. Uh, the sending off happens, you fear the worst, but it, it, if anything, we grew into the game and as you say, we created chances all through that period and I just felt if we could get the third goal, it could have been a really interesting end to the game, but uh, that goal never came. How important was Alan St. Mark's on the you and Well, I thought, yeah, I thought Maxi started the game really well on the left and gave them problems, transitional problems in, in all moments. Um, then when he moved centrally, a, a different role, but his influence in the game was still there and formed a really good partnership with Alex. I thought they, they looked really good together, their dribbling ability, their pace. Yeah, we were a constant threat in the game and yeah, I was very pleased with the team and how we responded. It was only to the latter parts of the game really as we tired that the Liverpool um, created some chances. Okay, well Scott and then Martin. Scott? Mm -hmm. Would the um, would the worry any be that you know, the defence has looked really solid all the season and clearly, you know, Liverpool have some very good passes on the ball, but there were balls over the top really that seemed to undo you in that kind of 15 minutes spell. Yeah, uh, Liverpool have that pace and that quality, so they have the quality to find the runs. Um, we would back ourselves on another day to have defended those situations a lot better. We didn't. Well, we paid the price for that. We will review that and analyse it. Um, but teams, teams, you know, with the quality of Liverpool have the ability to to unpick you with with one moment, and our challenge is to, to keep our concentration and obviously prevent that. We didn't do that well enough today. Okay, Martin, uh, three questions in one here, uh, Eddie. How did you end up with Morris? How much has he impressed you behind the scenes? And can you believe that he's now going to be playing? Yeah, no, I've been really impressed. You, you see him from the outside. He's a he's a really likable character very laid back very relaxed but in his training focused and as I said many times Nick's form's been a whole combination of things ultimately it's down to Nick but the training the people around him have supported him and Loris has been key to that so he's been um, he's been excellent behind the scenes as has Mark so that's what you have a goalkeeping team for Look, it's, it's not something we wanted for Nick because he's been outstanding and we wanted him to play in the game but uh, now it's time for someone else to stand up how did you end up signing him? Um, we, were, we were obviously looking at a very limited pool of goalkeepers, but he was the name that immediately stood out in that moment. So out of contract goalkeepers that were free and available. But I don't think we could have picked a better one. Uh, it comes with a wealth of experience and these games are, you know, he's accustomed to them, he's used to them. So yes, he hasn't had competitive action for a long time, but he's fit and ready to play. And there's not been much time since the game's finished, but have you made contact with him? 
I've come straight in here. So um, now we'll make contact with him, obviously, but I see him and speak with him every day. Uh, and as I say, he's trained very well. Okay, Craig. Eddie, what was your take on the incident leading up to, to Nick and Sent? Of it seemed uncharacteristic, from a bit of a, a muddle. What, what, what was your take? Uh, these things happen at such high speed and the, the conditions were slightly difficult today with the wind and the, the slippy surface I think just probably slightly misjudged the ball yes it's hit his arm is it a red card I, I'm of the view I think that was harsh personally um, I think the referee could have easily given a yellow card in that situation you said then earlier you on so you're going to assess your options can I just ask what does that mean did that, does that mean there's an option beyond Carius and Gillespie I've got no idea I, I don't think so but uh, assessing my options of those two players, really. All right, okay. And just the last one, I mean, I suppose all of this is put in the perspective by uh, the news on, on Christian here as well, and just how, how has that been for you and for the players who knew him very well? Very difficult day. To wake up to that news was devastating for, for me, everyone associated with Newcastle, everyone who knew Christian. I worked with him for a season, and he was and just an incredible, likeable guy really really good person really good teammate and an outstanding player and as you say it puts everything into perspective we're devastated for him and his family okay. uh, Aaron and then Kieran uh, Eddie I think it was after Kieran Rich you said that sometimes the defeats can actually cause it against you know sort of floats the mind you've been on this fantastic unbeaten run in the Premier League is the feeling of that this time around given that you know, you've got to focus now for one United to put things right well I think we're we're pleased the final's here I didn't want the wait to be any longer. Like, want to get the game, prepare well for the game, and try and win the game. But it, as much as you don't want to talk about it, it has been the talk of everybody. And naturally, I think the focus is. I wouldn't criticise the players in terms of focusing on the final ahead of anything, or you know, ahead of the Premier League. But just just the talk of it's been um, been there. So pleased to get the game and play and prepare this week. Um, and I think we're ready. We're ready for it. Yeah, I think Callum did well when he came on. He had the uh, the chance to score, which he's probably disappointed with that he didn't take. It was really good driving play from from Anthony, who who did well as did most of the substitutes who came on. So yeah, Callum did well. I was pleased with him and just pleased he's come through that um, 30 minute spell fine. Okay, Kieran. I, think, uh, I suppose you definitely don't want this defeat to be damaging. Is that the message after the game to the players? Yeah, I don't think it will be damaging for us because of the manner of the defeat. I think it, no one wants to lose, but there's ways to lose. I think we had we lost today having a real go at a top team with 10 men for a huge part of the game. We passed the ball. We still tried to press them and not be too passive. We counter-attacked really well. So I thought there's a lot of aspects of our play today that was very, very good. And if anything, from the players' perspective, we should whet the appetite of what we can be. If we can play that way with a man down, what can we do with even numbers? And I think we have to take confidence from today's game while recognising there's still areas that we need to improve in. In a weird way, do you think almost it's, it's not a preparation for a base of Manchester United and we're a very different team, a base of big team like Melbourne 10 and then it's giving you a weird confidence? Yeah, I think you can look at it that way. I think we have to. I think we have to look at it positively. Uh, probably it was ideal opposition for, for next week, but we weren't looking at that. It that way, we were looking to try and win this Premier League game in isolation, and we're disappointed we haven't done that. But now it's done, we can't change it. Um, we have to look forward to the next one. Any more? Eddie, probably a stupid question, I apologise, but is, is Loris here? Is he here today? And does he routinely go, has he been routinely going to away games? Uh, no, he hasn't been routinely going to away games. Um, we've sort of mixed up who's travelled as the third goalkeeper. Um, so he's been training today. Um, he's ready to play. I've got no issues with his fitness or form. John, just mentioned there about picking the red card was harsh. Did you look into a potential team? Yeah, I don't know where we stand on that, so it'd be foolish of me to, to comment too much. Just not as also just on Eddie Arnison, he was the first Premier League star in the last couple of minutes, a bit disappointing, but as well. Yeah, huge disappointment for him and for me to have to take him off because it was the last thing I wanted to do. Um, I just felt we needed a transitional threat in the game. The counter attack was going to be hugely important to us, so we reshuffled and went with two forward players. But those two forward players needed extreme pace. I felt so. Unfortunately, Elliot was the one to come off, but it was nothing against what he did in that time on the pitch. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.